we just throw some oil on the top of the, the crust here. It just kind of gives it some, some great color as it comes out of the oven. So this is a fresh fjord latte that's made for us. Yeah, this is actually some stuff from Prince Edward County. And we, uh, we hit it with a, just a little bit of salt, uh, a little bit of uh, Sicilian oregano, a little grated Pecorino Romano and Grana Padano cheese. That's it. Hey, I'm Ryan Badley, and I'm uh, one of the owners of Pizzeria Badiali. This project kind of came about from a love of pizza, whether it being some travels in Italy and some trips with friends to New York. I always found that Toronto kind of lacked a little bit of that culture of grabbing a quick slice. We have a lot of great pizza here, but I always thought that like a little nostalgic pizza shop in the West End would have been something that everyone would, would appreciate. Yeah, I always kind of had my eye on this corner spot here on Dover Court in Argyle. I live in this neighborhood. It always gave me the kind of nostalgic feeling of something that would be in Brooklyn or like a borough in New York somewhere. And I always thought it would uh, go well with having a little pizza shop in. Yeah, I always loved the, the culture of just grabbing a quick slice and not necessarily grabbing like a whole pie. You know, the culture in New York is so great for that. There's a couple old school shops that I've loved like the Tondo's in Fresca in Toronto, but I thought we could really add something to that. Put a, a little bit more kind of concentration into the dough and a little bit more high-end ingredients and do a slice that's a, a little bit more special for Toronto. So with our dough, we use a combination of Italian flour and uh, a bread flour from Ontario. Kind of gives it that uh, elasticity of like the, that the double zero kind of gives to it, but also kind of gives it some structure for some air, and that's kind of why I think our dough can be so light. We only add just olive oil and salt to that, nothing else. We add oil and salt to the dough to give it a little bit more flavor. It gives it a nice golden brown uh, color as it comes out of the oven. And it's a three day process, so the dough cold ferments for, for a couple days before we, we use it. I would describe this shop as doing pizza inspired by both the pizza culture of New York and the rustic, high quality ingredients that you can find on an Italian pizza. We don't necessarily like to kind of consider ourselves a New York slice shop, but it definitely has that feeling with the, the older building and kind of the nostalgic corner. And daily, we kind of have a rotating window of slices, whether it be, you know, the classics from pepperoni, some cheese, some margarita. We also do a couple kind of uh, cool pies, our ricotta white pie with uh, mushrooms and caramelized onions. Our vodka pie is pretty popular. It's a vodka sauce that we make here with uh, fresh mozzarella pecorino on top. It's very simple, but people quite enjoy it. We actually don't add any vodka to it, but the style of that sauce being a rosé sauce from New York and that kind of goes over top of the, the fresh mozzarella before it gets baked in the oven and uh, yeah it's pretty it's pretty great. Uh, the most popular pie just because we do classics here is a pepperoni which I really like too. It's uh, We get our pepperoni from the States and it's a very popular pepperoni within New York pizza culture as well so we're able to source that which I, I, I love as well but yeah pepperoni you can't beat it. Uh, this was always something that I had in mind over the past few years that I thought I would want to do after doing some restaurants but this corner has always kind of spoke to me and I thought that this would be the perfect location for it and this came up during the pandemic you didn't know what was going on in the industry and this was a, a, a risk but kind of something that I, I knew I had passion about.